See, have a look at this question. It's written that two thin rings of slightly different radii. So these are uh, two thin rings. This the inner ring and the outer ring. Uh, two thin rings of slightly different radii joined together to make a wheel. So this part is a wheel of radius capital R. So the inner and the outer radii are almost same and equal to capital R. There is a very small smooth gap between the two rings it should be rings between the two rings uh, the wheel has mass capital M and its center of mass is at the geometrical center obviously center of mass will be at the geometrical center <coughs> the wheel stands on a smooth surface so this surface is smooth and there is no friction uh, the wheel has mass and its center of mass is on the wheel stands on a smooth surface and a small particle of mass small m lies at top part top point a so this particle has mass small m ye wala particle this particle just on the top of the wheel at this moment so in the gap between the rings so the small particle m small m of mass small m lies on top a topmost point a in the gap between the rings the system is released and the particle begins to slide down the gap so assume that the ring doesn't lose contact with the surface <clears throat> that means this mass m is so small that uh, the ring doesn't lose uh, lose contact with this surface However, the ring doesn't lose contact with the surface. Such situations may come when the ring, this ring may lose contact with the surface. Okay, however, that condition is ruled out here. Uh, so, as the particle now, uh, let's go to the questions. What we have to find out. As the particle slides down from top point A to the bottom point B, in which direction does the center of the wheel move? देखो इधर पे जो सेंटर ऑफ द व्हील है ना यहाँ पे देर इज नो टॉर्क सो फ्रॉम द रिंग देर इज नो टॉर्क सो देर वोट बी एनी रोलिंग मोशन द रिंग विल स्लाइड ओनली सो लेट्स मेक दैट क्लियर वाई दैट्स हैपनिंग एक्चुअली बिकॉज सी एनी वे दोर्सेज बिटवीन द रिंग दिस रिंग एंड दिस स्मॉल पार्टिकल the forces are always directed towards the center so that will induce no torque so there is no question of rotation or uh, rolling motion of the ring so the ring will simply translate and as the point p let's look at the first question at uh, so as the particle slides down from point a to point b ye to point a to point b in which direction does the center of the wheel move see here you see along the horizontal direction that is the x axis the net external force along the horizontal direction is equal to 0 so therefore delta x cm uh, that means the shift in center of mass the shift in center of mass of the system so along horizontal or along the x axis is equal to 0 so now initially this is a ring and the small mass m and finally the small mass m is here so initially the ring may shift and the ring will shift actually so at start <clears throat> the mass comes here the ring will shift here to keep the center of mass in the same place and then the ring uh, that uh, small mass shift here and the ring shift here so ultimately finally you see the center of mass you know of the system doesn't have any horizontal displacement so the question as you see as the particle slides down from a to b which direction center of the wheel move the center of the wheel moves at start the center of the wheel moves to the left and then the center of mo Uh, the wheel moves to the right and ultimately when uh, the small mass reaches the bottom most point b then the center of the wheel comes to the same place that means the motion of the center of wheel is like that so it goes here 
and then again it shifts back to the same place okay find the speed of the center of the wheel when the particle reaches the bottom so let's see what is asked in part 3 uh, in part 3 it is asked that part c rather find the speed of the center of the wheel at the moment the position vector of the particle with respect to center of the wheel makes an angle theta with the vertical <coughs> to this calculation assuming that particle is at it's in contact So we will uh, do here, this is the condition 1, condition 1 when this particle is here and <coughs> sorry, um, here I will draw the final condition that is condition 2 or state 2 when this is here. So now uh, this particle has velocity is a v1 and the ring has velocity v2 now we can conserve momentum so along the x direction or the horizontal direction x direction momentum is conserved so what we can do that uh, that uh, the velocity of the ring is v2 and velocity of this mass small m is v1 this is with respect to ground i am saying with respect to ground so now I can write that mv2 is equal to small mv1 for momentum conservation that's true and simultaneously we will apply the work energy principle that is the uh, loss in potential energy of the small mass loss in potential energy of the small mass is equal to gain in kinetic energy of uh, both combined so half mv1 squared plus half uh, capital M v2 square so these are the two equations one and two uh, from which we can solve uh, we have to solve out v2 right v2 so i write 2 mgr is equal to half small m v1 square uh, v1 means m square by small m square into uh, v2 square plus half capital m v2 square implies here you find v2 is equal to v2 is equal to the root so uh, square root of 4 mgr <coughs> divided by capital m into Uh, capital M into capital M plus small m you can <coughs> calculate it and verify so there it will be uh, for m square actually so let us remove that actually so this will be just a minute <coughs> So there it will be 2m and there it will be gr so it will be 4m square in, inside actually okay doesn't matter you can check it out again so let's move ahead to the next part of the question part 3 now let us look at the third case where the initial condition of the ring is this where the mass small m just starts from the topmost point and the final condition is that uh, this small m goes down here so and it makes angle theta and at this condition let v be the velocity of the ring and vr vr be the velocity of small m relative to the ring so vr is velocity of small m with respect to the ring wrt with respect to the ring that so that's a relative velocity and this uh, v is velocity of the ring so now uh, so we can find out the absolute velocity of this particle m so as you see this is the vector sum of vr and v 
so v r and v vector sum so let us find out the angle between this so as you see uh, this angle is theta so this angle is also theta so the angle between uh, so the angle between uh, vr and v so whatever you see this uh, vr we can split it into this vr cos theta and this component is vr sin theta so as as you see the velocity of this small m is uh, this is vr cos theta minus v in the x axis and vr sin theta it is downward so now we can conserve momentum along the x axis so conserving momentum along the x axis we get uh, small m into vr cos theta minus v is equal to capital m into v so let's name this equation one and from the work energy we get that so as this small m goes down by a height r times 1 minus cos theta so we know mg r times 1 minus cos theta is equal to half capital m v square plus half small m into v r cos theta minus v square plus v r sin theta square so what we get is mgr times 1 minus cos theta is equal to half mv square plus half small m into uh, vr square plus v square uh, and we get uh, minus twice vr into v into cos theta So let us name this uh, equation 2. So now you see uh, you have this equation 1 and this equation 2 and uh, from 1 you can substitute. That means you have to find out V. So substitute VR from 1 from equation 1 put uh, VR in equation 2 and solve for v so please do the calculation on your own